<laughs> Marry me! I'm Artistica and welcome to the channel where we create all things art and witchy. And in today's video, I am going to go over a painting that I recently just got back from the gallery. I did film a little bit of me doing the process of painting it, so I kind of want to show it to you. I also want to add it to my scrapbook. And if you've seen my other video on my scrapbooking, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then I want to do a necklace inspired by the painting. Normally, I do a reading of tarot cards at the beginning and do the last card at the end. We're just going to do the whole reading at the very beginning because I have something a little different at the ending. And I'll let you know towards the ending of the video what that difference is. I entered this painting in an open art call exhibit and it was called Color Pop and the whole theme of the exhibit was that you would paint black and it was like a black and white painting with only one color added. Like no grays, no like different shades of that one color or anything like that. You're allowed to at least do like two paintings but I decided to go ahead and uh, just do the one. Because I've noticed if like I try to rush and try to do two, the second one is usually not so good. But the first one usually turns out the best because it's the one I work on the most. So I decided to put all my energy into one painting this year. I enjoyed the challenge of it. So I usually enter a painting every year. And I recorded some of my painting process. Fortunately, I didn't record any of the footage of the exhibit or get a picture of my painting in the exhibit. Usually I do for some reason totally forgot this time but i still wanted to share the painting with you so i hope you enjoy it and let's get started with the tarot card reading first we have the four of lightning reversed and this basically is telling us it's time to rest and focus on achieving a peace of mind next card is the master which is telling us to reflect on what has tempted you and find a way to resist. And our last card, the star. And it is saying only through your own strength can you find the way. What, so basically what we're getting from these cards is telling us it's time to rest and reflect on what is tempting you and only through your strength can you find a way to resist and gain a peace of mind? And feel free to comment down below. If you got this reading, what would you need to resist to gain a peace of mind? I only use three paints in this painting and they're all from Culture Hustle. The white paint, I absolutely love their white paint. It's really, really bright. And for some reason, the smell, I like the smell. It's not the smell of your average paint their gold paint that i use in this painting i absolutely love to they have a metallic line of copper silver black gold and of course gold and you will see me use those for future paint right now i'm on the hunt for a good a rose gold acrylic now the black i used is from culture hustle it's 3.0 the only problem with the 3.0 paint or even their black paint is as much as it's 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 one of the darkest blacks that I've, that I've ever come across as far as paints and everything but the only problem is it's very temperamental it does not like to play well with others and for that reason and as much as I love using it because of the way it turns out it's not the best to work with so i'm actually looking for a, another good paint now the exciting part is how this painting turned out i absolutely love 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 it
now you've seen a little bit of the progress of the painting and how well it turned out i'm going to be adding it to my scrapbook i'm not going to show you like the whole process of the scrapbook but i want to show you how the pages turned out the first page is of the mock-up of the painting that i did and i decided to go ahead and add some butterflies with a little bit of gold and this is what the first page of the painting looks like for the scrapbook this is the second page where i added the name the golden web i also added pictures that i took during the process and I only added three of the pictures that I took during the process. So added gold butterflies with a little bit of Celtic strip designs on the side. I thought they looked really neat. Now that we added them to my scrapbook, let's go on to making a necklace. For the necklace, I used sticker paper and the design from the four corners of the painting to make the pendant. I used white, black, and gold beads for the necklace. I do like it, but if I had to go back and redo, I would make a different design for the pendant. Other than that, I do like how it turned out. Love the way that turned out. And I think it looks really, really good on me. Well, this is at the end of the video. So we got to do the tarot cards, the painting process, the adding it to the scrapbook and even making a necklace inspired by the actual painting. And I am excited to say that with all this, this piece actually inspired me to do an actual collection. I've never done a body of collection where they actually go together and all that stuff. All my artwork is just random and don't really have a cohesive theme or anything like that. So I'm thinking, why don't I do a collection? I'm going to start off with a 10 piece collection and I'm wanting to call this collection all things art and witchy after the channel. And of course in each painting, I want something witchy. I want something art. And because I was had a limited color palette with this one and it turned out really, really well. I absolutely love it. I decided that I was going to do a prompt list. So I put 10 things in here, which are witch stuff. And then I put 10 things in here, which are art stuff. And of course, I didn't want to just do black and white. Black and white, yes, that can be a part of it. But I want, instead of having one color theme, I wanted to do three. I wanted to do a dark color, a metallic color, and a light color. So that way we have th a theme going on. Because I really loved the gold and I loved how it turned out. But I decided to do a metallic palette on all these two. So let's get started. Let's do the prompts. I got it open. All these little pieces of paper in there. And then we're going to pick out one. They're actually stickers. I printed them out on stickers so I can stick it right here. And the first one we have is a spell jar. So, and our art thing is pencils. So, we're going to meet all those in there. And we're just going to pick one out at random. And orange. Our light color is going to be a shade of orange. This is going to be our dark color. And we have red. Okay. And our Our metallic color is going to be, watch it be gold, copper, copper. We are going with a light orange, a dark red, and, a, and, and our metallic color is going to be copper. And then we're going to do pencils and a jar. So I'm all excited to get that started. 
going to be a very interesting painting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, share, like, comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.